Hello, and welcome to another episode of Shampoo and Booze. This is episode number 75. We thought we would try something new. We are going to look through some Airbnbs and critique them. I was looking through Airbnb for a guest room or a house or something to stay in while traveling. And I started just clicking around the map and having fun looking at different guest rooms. And I noticed a trend where there were some guest rooms that were very, very over, over designed, I would call it. And then there were some that were either under designed or not designed at all. So I thought it would be interesting to do a quick comparison between two just guest rooms with one bed in someone's home. Um, I know there are a lot of hosts trying to do that and I thought it would be fun to look through it. Okay, so here we are on a little guest room. Uh, beautiful mountain views abound in small town USA. First impressions on the page, um, they say it's you know a private room in a guest suite. It looks like a, one of those brand new homes. You know, the description is kind of cute, beautiful, light-filled home with mountain views. Okay, cool, safe, secure, got great neighbors. Sounds good. Let's look at the photos. Okay, Ashley, photo number one. <laughs> okay, photo number one, we're looking at a view that's like zoomed in from a window. It looks like the window is kind of dirty and <laughs> the mountains are sort of covered up by rain clouds. So you know, if this is your first photo, it's a little bit of a miss. So in the second photo, again, they're trying to show the mountains, which is cool. Um, but again, it looks like there's a rainstorm or the sun is setting and you're looking at your neighbor's houses. Um, not the best angle to show the mountains in your neighborhood. And I would say if you're going to show what the view is out the window or you're going to show what the view is in general, like leave it to the last photo or something. It's not the most important thing. The most important thing is showing the room you're going to stay in, right? So we're on the third photo and they're still kind of showing the beautiful view uh, sort of out the window. <laughs> and you see like the foot of the bed. Still, we haven't seen the whole bed, right? So. Right. So I, I, I feel like, you know, sometimes this is just a matter of people don't know how to reorder their photos, you know, or they don't think they think, oh, someone's going to click through all of them. But assume people are only going to see the first three photos. And I feel like my first impression of this room based on the first, you know, four photos we've clicked through is there's like this like grandma Afghan at the bottom of his bed. <laughs> seeing which, that. Which just doesn't, doesn't make me want to like cuddle up in it, you know? I'm a little bit like, meh. We'll see in later photos that that kind of goes with their color scheme mm -hmm. of the bed, but maybe you just put that in the dresser or in the closet as an extra blanket. Like, it's Amen. not the greatest looking design with your brand new, it looks like a brand new house. In terms of TV here, it looks like they bought, this is something Jay always harps on. He's like, do not buy the smallest TV possible. Like you could get quite a large TV right there and it would make that room super cozy. You know, you want to watch a movie on Netflix or whatever. It looks like they have a DVD player and a Roku. That's awesome. Great. Uh, it, you shouldn't buy a 26 inch television. That's what it looks like, right? Yeah. And just, I mean, I feel like with uh, the way TVs are made these days, just put it on the wall and mount it on the wall. Just yeah. Mount it on the wall and leave more space uh, to put things on top of that dresser. Right. Get a bigger TV mounted on the wall. I agree. Again, here's another, we don't, we don't need another photo, right? Out the window. Out the window, like with your neighbor's truck. Okay, bathroom. What do you think about this photo? Um, well, you pointed this out earlier, which is uh, the like Home Depot sticker is still on the toilet. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it's, a, it's actually a really nice bathroom. We've seen way worse. It's got a nice shower curtain, cute little um, bath mat. You know, it's like great. It looks clean. It looks new. I have no problems with it, except on the under design theme, it feels a little stark. Right. There could be really colorful artwork behind the toilet and something you want people to see is maybe your shampoo and like 
shower gel in the shower to know that you have those things. Um, also something on the back of the toilet where we would have a basket with lotion, uh, room spray and like tissues, you know, something like that. Just to like, those are really simple things, but you're like, Oh, I'm looking at that and seeing that those things are not there. But if they're in the photo, you're like, Oh, it looks cozy. And there's amenities and things like that. Maybe, maybe that shower curtain could be a little bit more colorful since everything is gray. Um, it's a cute shower curtain, but it would be nice if there was a little bit more color in the bathroom. Again, a little bit more color in the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've seen this theme a lot, like the gray on gray on gray on gray. Like people on gray are on really gray. <laughs> into gray. I, I mean, I think gray can be really beautiful. Um, I think both you and I, Ryan, have a tendency to add color and have things that, you know, work with a warm gray or work with a cool gray. And, and instead of just feeling like we're, uh, and it looked like the floor was gray too. So again, yeah. bath towels, like these hand towels could be, you know, some, some lovely pattern. color or pattern or something that sort of like makes the space feel a little bit more alive and lived in. Right. Or some artwork, maybe like the, a better angle of a photo with artwork that is colorful. And yeah, it's fine. The wall is gray. You're, your sink is white. It looks clean. It looks brand new. They have a really nice mirror. It's very modern. Um, but just give it a little bit more warmth to it, you know? Okay. I actually like this photo at first. I was like, uh, but it's, it's nice to see that there's a lot of room for your stuff. Yeah. I like this photo too. I, my suggestion was, you know, put all of the extra blankets and pillows folded up, up on the shelf so that it feels again, like there are more amenities available. Right. Take that grandma Afghan and put it in there. <laughs> so finally we see the bed. They, okay. As you can see, this is the ninth photo out of 10 photos. So the last, so it looks like actually the last two photos are of the bed. This, this should be the first photo. This should be yep. the second photo. Yep. <laughs> like, I completely agree. Yeah, a critique of this. Yeah, grandma, um, grandma's Afghan's got to go. Uh, there's a bedside table where it looks like the lamp takes up the entire table. So you need room for other things that I want to put there. And, you know, in terms of scale, uh, we think that if you could fit a bigger bed in here, that would yeah. be a recommendation. Definitely. This looks like a full to me. Yeah. Like this if does you not get look a like queen, a queen. That's ideal. And there should be two little bedside tables. There should be tables on either side. And maybe this is the kind of space where you can have lamps that are attached to the wall, have sconces or whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah, sconces. You're like, what are those things called? Or, you know, I love, I love like some simple industrial lamp where you can actually move it from side to side, like those kinds of um, arm, arm lamps. And if you don't want to drill into the wall, you could figure out a way to drill it to the bed head, mm -hmm. the bed headboard, um, mm -hmm. or clip it to the headboard as well. Um, so that's helpful if there's two people, like you said. Um, we kind of need other bedside tables. Um, and in terms of, again, I see a gray curtain. Maybe you have a colorful curtain to offset all the gray so it doesn't look so dark. I mean, this photo is taken in the middle of the day. Um, they close the curtain and turn the light on and it looks really dark. Yeah. And, you know, maybe the window was sort of blowing the photo out. Um, right. But I feel like a couple key design things here are put an actual rug in here and not yeah. just like a bath mat rug. I mean, I, I, I like the, the thought of it, but I feel like actually having like even a three by five, you know, at the yeah. kind of side or the corner of the bed would be really nice. And the other thing is the way that the, the curtain is hung. Sometimes it's nice to overhang the curtain a little bit over the window so that when it's open, it fully opens on either side of the window. It actually makes the room feel a little bit fuller as opposed to just like having the curtain fitting right. I mean, it looks like there might even be just one panel, you know, so even having two panels that can hang on either side, it can just have a little bit more substance in the space. 
The other thing I wanted to point out was the artwork on the wall. So to me, those two little tiny pieces of artwork, they look pretty generic. I mean, it looks like they got them at Home Goods or Michaels or something, which is okay. You can find some okay stuff there. But if you had a bigger piece, that would, I feel like that would make the bed look bigger. Um, even if it is just a full, it might be a queen. It's hard to tell in these photos. Um, but a nice colorful piece of artwork back there and maybe a matching one on that other wall. I mean, as you can see, they, they took 10 photos. I think 10 photos is a great amount for just a guest room. They showed every, honestly, everything we needed to see, uh, the bed, the bathroom, the closet, uh, outside the window plenty of times. Um, so I think that that was a good amount. And what's interesting is, you know, just a little bit of tweaking to this like under-designed room could make it feel really a lot more comfortable and, and cozy. And desirable. And I think the other thing I would add in terms of photos I would want to see is like, what does the rest of the house look like? Right. You know, if it's a, sh if it's a shared space, like, is there a kitchen? Is there a living room? Is, right. what does the front of the house look like? You know, just a couple of those added elements. And I feel like I would be more interested in renting this place. Okay, let's go to our over-designed guest room. And I think you can see a big difference as to what's going on here. Okay, also my like number one question is, is that bed on ropes? Yes, it looks like that bed is on ropes. Have you I ever have. slept on a bed on ropes? Now it looks like only half of it is on ropes. So it looks oh, like the, right. it's kind of like a faux poster bed, but the but the back posters are like ropes on the I swear I've seen that in pin, on Pinterest before where it's like a hanging bed, but it looks like the head of the bed might have actual legs. So that's actually interesting. I mean there there are some interesting design things that they do here. I just think they do it too much. I mean, just looking at the first five photos, I'm like, there's a lot going on here. I feel sort of overwhelmed. But I think the thing that they're trying to go for is the element of layers and textures. And right. in some ways, they have a very neutral color palette, but right. they sort of went over the top with layering. And for me, I think the most glaring part, haha, pun intended, is the lighting seems very strange to me. Like the two almost like chandelier lights that are on either side of the bed feel way overscale and like bizarre as far as bedroom lighting goes. Now, before we get into the photos, I do want to point something out. So the first paragraph that they have about their space says this looking for peace and quiet in a pristine immaculately decorated oasis in the heart of a burgeoning downtown then look elsewhere so that's their first sentence right you're gonna come stay at our you know comfortable house and whatever and it's not pristine and it's not immaculately decorated but but at the same time, that's kind of what I'm seeing in the photos. Don't ever say, are you looking for this? Well, that's not what we have. You're like, no, just say what you do have. I just thought that was so funny that they really, I mean, they went out of their way to do like a whole decor scheme. It looks like almost professional photos. It looks like it's on Pinterest. I mean, they, they really staged the room. They staged the room more than I have ever staged a room. And yet they're like, want this beautiful, cool thing? Look elsewhere. <laughs> like, that's terrible. There, and you'll see as we go on through this listing, there's some major mixed messages going on. So, yeah. So this is the first photo. Now, I do want to point this out. They have 43 photos and you're staying in one guest room. They do show photos of the house. So we'll look at some of those to get a picture of the whole house, which is nice. You're like, okay, this is, you are in someone's house. It's not like a private entrance. The other one we looked at looked like it might have been a private entrance and they didn't really, they might've explained that, but they, they didn't show that at all. Like you're saying, th that lighting is, first of all, they took photos at night. 
And it, I feel like it highlights how weird the lighting is. <laughs> the lighting looks weird. They have a lot of like textures and the light is making textures on the ceiling. I do believe that wall is a uh, wallpaper. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's a faux brick, faux painted brick wallpaper, which I think can work in small spurts. And there are sections of the room that we'll look at that I'm like, that could work there. But mm -hmm. not that, that whole back wall is just looks nutso to me. Yeah, it does. A lot of stuff going on here. I feel like if we saw it in the daylight, it wouldn't feel as bonkers, but it looks pretty bonkers in the, in, in the picture. Yeah. And so here's the same-ish angle, but it shows the um, cowskin rug, which I think mm -hmm. you can buy at Ikea. I've seen those at Ikea. Another angle. Now, so what's funny is now you're seeing this side table that has the, it's kind of nice. They have like a great coffee bar in the room and they show mm -hmm. close-ups of it, yeah. but it just looks so cluttered. And it's right next to the bed. There's another angle of it. I like the twinkly lights up above, but all the baskets just seem too many baskets. Yeah, there's a lot going on in that little corner. I do like that they have the coffee bar in the room, though. Mm -hmm. I think that's smart. Yep. I don't. We've maybe talked that's about not. that a lot. Yep. Now that other house did not have a coffee bar or anything in the room, so not that right. Not that we could see. Not that I mean they didn't show it, so I'm mm -hmm. assuming it's not there. If you don't um, show it, it doesn't exist. I mean, really. Okay, so here's a closet. Um, that's kind of cool. So you can put your clothes in there in little baskets. That's kind of cute. It's funny. The other side of the room looks completely undecorated. <laughs> I mean, not I mean, compared to the other side. It's like they need to spread their decor around <laughs> better, I guess. Yeah, I agree. Um, I also am going to second my motion about those lights being completely over scale like especially in this picture they just seem insane it's so funny seeing it at this angle because you're like those look huge it looks like I, a bird cage i it probably is right i feel like i would hit my head on that if i was getting out of bed to go to yeah. the bathroom it's a lot there's a lot happening now the the thing that i thought was cool is they use that little faux brick wallpaper in the closed up fireplace or fake fireplace i don't know what that is but i i like this i, I think it looks cool with this. they they did a yeah. wood frame around the tv which i've never seen it kind of annoys me and i also think it's creative right <laughs> you I ever have that. that feeling you're like i yeah. sort of hate this and also good job also like no i think that's great well look this is nice this is subtle design they've got a couple towels in a basket whatever that's weird but fine um, and then they have those sort of white creamy bottles um, up on the thing. And that looks kind of cute. It's I think minimal. that's nice. Yep. I don't feel overwhelmed by what's happening in this corner. Yeah. I think that they did a good job there. Again, another angle of the bed. You don't need the, I, I feel like, okay, you don't need this. Like we've got it. Yep. And yeah, that back wall just looks, it's almost like, it's almost like they could have done the the brick wall, but also not had that shelf back there. Like it just had some artwork or some more subtle like wall hangings back there. Or if the brick was just around the windows and the back wall, it looks like they have this like soft pink, like maybe that's just behind the shelves or just behind the shelves is the brick and the other side is just soft pink. It, it just, I feel like that wall is, there's way too much going on. Yeah, that wall is just like, yeah, like that light, that light makes that room look so weird. If you had a hanging light, maybe put it higher and make it into like a soft frosted globe. That would well, so, make that room look so different. So with these three elements alone, there's a lot of hanging elements here. There's a hanging chair, there's a hanging bed, and there are hanging lights. It feels like a, a lot. wall hanging. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff hanging off the ceiling. Okay, gorgeous bathroom. Gorgeous, okay, no so problems. Here, here's what's so funny to me. Newly renovated bathroom. It looks like they took the photo of the bathroom during the day, but they didn't put the lights on over the vanity. So there's light streaming in from, it looks like where the toilet is, the little alcove, but then the vanity is completely dark. Yeah, right. 
So that's a weird photo. Gorgeous bathroom. Love the tiles. Okay, so there's the little alcove. Uh, That's a weird photo. You're like, a third of the photo is a black wall. Although I don't mind it. I I, I don't mind it, especially if that's telling me how I get in and out of it. So that's actually a great photo. The light looks nice. It looks like a beautiful brand new house. And I love that the shower curtain splits in the middle. I've never even thought of that. that those looks, just look like yeah. those just look like curtains. Those might just be curtains. With like I kind of like it though. Yeah, they did a good job there. Where I know it's a little bit cheesy, but they put flowers and like a little thing in the bath as if you were gonna take a bath, and you're like, oh, that looks homey. Like I see a little bath mat there, so it looks like cozy and inviting, you know, even though it is all gray and white. Also, they have uh, recessed lighting in the bathtub if they just turn them on for the pictures. Right. Okay, a little close up. That's not bad. That looks cute. I I feel like one of them is a photographer because it's kind of got that feel. Yep. So now they are showing the dining room and some of the some of the shared spaces. That's where the 43 photos come in. I don't think we're going to go through all of them, but um, you'll get a sense of, I mean, look, that light is all about Pinterest. Like somebody went on Pinterest and was like, farmhouse industrial. <laughs> it's like farmhouse driftwood boho chic. I feel like that was the, I actually don't mind this angle of that chandelier, but there are other pictures of this chandelier that make me yeah, uncomfortable. So like, okay, I think this is a cute photo, but at the same time, I think it's, too much i'm just like that's too much that's like an etsy photo if you're selling your plants you know this is a good example of we did not get any information from this photo yeah i'm just kind of like some commentary on your design aesthetic right but it's not helpful this doesn't tell me anything Ooh. okay this is the one where i'm like no i feel like it's really low like you're gonna hit your head on those lights yeah okay so this is their living room that's cool though that they're like this is a shared space this is a shared space okay i like this picture it's a little washed out but this gives me a sense of the living room the last picture feels like it's missing something i don't know what it feels like the room is so over the top decorated and then the last picture of the living room feels stark It feels like they started with the bedroom, but they haven't gotten into the living room yet. So now I'm going to do a super quick fast forward so you can get a sense of how many photos they have. Okay, they show the outside of the house. That's good. Super cute. That's great. You're like, you have a little patio you can hang out on. Um, They have a... Okay. Dude, they have like a wild hog. That looks like a warthog. What? Keep you going. You stay in a house like this? Keep going. It gets weirder. Okay. Wow. I didn't even look through all of it. What are you talking about? Have you? They are adorable. Would you stay in a house with a? a yeah. So that's definitely interesting. I don't know. Would you stay there? <laughs> it feels weird to me that there's like a warthog on the couch (laughs) that feels weird to me and i have to say i don't know if you've ever stayed around parrots or birds but they're loud so loud i've i've been around parrots where you're just like hanging out and then all of a sudden it is the loudest thing you've ever heard and you're like no what was that noise so So I said this in the beginning, I feel like there are mixed messages here because the room is like, as we said, it's like over-designed. It's like every detail is packed in there, right? Like they clearly spent a lot of time thinking about this room and getting it just so. But then as you go on through the listing, especially seeing the amount of animals that live in the house, it's like it sort of feels like the listing kind of falls apart in the end. And just looking at the pictures, I'm like, oh my God, there's like a warthog and a bunch of parrots that live here. But then you look at this room and it seems like this like over the top boho palace, you know? So just to give this guest room as an example of like, 
it feels a little disconnected from, I think, what the rest of the experience of living at this house would be. It's overly designed like Lux Hotel. Like that's kind of what it looks like. And then they're like, we have a bunch of parrots that are really loud and a warthog and a dog. And you're like, what? <laughs> they seem very warm in their descriptions, right? Like they have all this food that they show and they want to like, they, it seems like they really want to host people, which is great. It feels very overly eager and a little bit like you're really going to be coming into a kind of a quirky experience, which right. maybe someone's like, kind of down for that, you know? Right. So in some ways I commend them for being really honest. Like obviously they have a very unique situation and in other ways I sort of feel like, okay, what is the experience that they want people to have when they come here? So that was our little video podcast of what to do, what not to do, looking at an under-designed and an over-designed room. We'd love to hear what you think. We'd love to see your Airbnbs too. Send us your Airbnbs and we'll check them out. We'll do a little video about them. We'll be so kind. And tell us what you think at shampooandbooze at gmail.com. And we'd love to hear from you. Bye. Bye.